Imagine you're home one day, and you're just kind of hanging around. You're not doing much. And your friend calls you from out of the blue and says, you got to come down to this, this party that is going on. It's wonderful. It's free. It's at a hotel. And it, it's dinner is included. You're going to have a great time. So you're like, all right, I'm not doing anything else. Why not? So you get in your car, and you meet your friend there. You come through, and you go into a room very similar to this one. You're sit, sitting down in these chairs. And then this guy comes out on stage with one of those Britney Spears microphones, you know, and has like Anthony Robbins energy. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Woo! And then you're like, oh, boy, I know what's going on here. So what do you do? The first thing you do is, is you're, you're skeptical, of course, because we're all skeptics. So we sit down, <clears throat> cross our legs, cross our arms, get in that defensive position, you know, because we're not, we're not going to buy anything that's going on here. And then we're leaning backwards, you know, with that skeptical eye. So we're, we're sitting down like this for about, for about a good 10 minutes. But something happens. This guy's energy and his charisma is just amazing. And he's talking about this stuff. And he says, do you want financial freedom? And you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, I want financial freedom, sure. Do you want to live the life of your dreams? And then slowly your arms start to uncross and you start to lean forward. Yeah, you know, I could do that. That sounds great. And then the next thing you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then a little bit later, you're driving home with a box next to you, 10-year <laughs> supply of $40 per bar GMO-free soap. <laughs> and when you get home, the, your whole energy level and that, those, the adrenaline that was going through your blood and you know, all that starts to go down. And then you say, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> now, you would think at this point, most people would simply just go, go back in their car and return that box of crap. But no, that doesn't happen. Why? Because we rationalize. We don't want to admit that we were just taken. We don't want to admit that we were manipulated, that we were a sucker, that we fell for something. So what do we do? We say, all right, well, you know what? That soap really did smell good. I mean... Yeah, it does smell good. And I really could use this extra part-time job. So you start to rationalize. And then the next thing you know, you're in.